Hey everybody, it's Dear Risha the Artist and I'm here with my art chat where I let you know about what I'm doing and you see my techniques and pyrography and art and I just talk about life and my experiences with you as an artist. Um, you know, it, it's really interesting as an artist, like trying to express yourself through this medium of the internet because I don't know about y'all, you know, but shoot, I have done pieces that took me days to do and I'll put it up on the internet and it'll get like five likes. And I have to be strong enough in my mind to say, no, the likes do not equate to the work that you, you know, that is not the true value of your work is some likes. You know what I'm saying? It got nothing to do with no likes. This is about the effort, how good it makes you feel, how good it makes others feel. So right now I'm doing a pyrography drawing. Well, I'm doing the drawing first and I'm gonna do a wood burn into this Scorpio. The Scorpio Scorpion. I'm also an astrologer. Just a little about me in case you're new to this channel or it's the first time you've flown with me. I am a multi-talented artist and a multimedia artist. So that's two different things. So when it comes to fine arts, I do a whole bunch of different mediums. I can paint, I do pyrography, I do sketching, I do pastel, I do oil paint, I do acrylic paint, pretty much anything you can think of in the fine arts department. But at the same time, I'm also a multimedia artist because I make furniture, I make jewelry, I make beats. I made the beat that you're listening to right now, if you could hear it. I make all kinds of stuff, especially I love making furniture, oh my God. And I probably could make a bunch more stuff, but I just don't know yet. I haven't experienced, you know, the rest of the things, but I love it. I love welding. Anything that you can create something from nothing, okay, that is where my hot spot is. So right now you see me and I'm drawing this really ugly, pretty scorpion. Scorpios, I mean, there's some ugly, pretty animals out there. I think all of nature is beautiful in its own way, but this scorpion kind of made me nervous making it, boy. And during the time, I was also kind of rekindling something with a friendship that was really heavy. You know, Scorpio in astrology, that's heavy energy here. You know, that's deep psychological shit. And it's like, I almost went through that as I was creating this piece. Oh, but on the art tip, you know, you see me using Weller. Uh, I always talk about that, my 60 watt Weller, okay, it's getting through all these little pieces. I think I had already bought a new tip because I was pressing way too hard in the wood, but I really wanted it to go through the wood. I wanted the deepest burn I could possibly get in this wood. Uh, so this was a lot of fun, but I think by now I'm starting to lighten up because it doesn't look like I'm going too heavy on this, but I really love how I'm able to get inside the cracks and the crevices, and I'm able to get more detailed now. So as you've been following me, you can see that, that my skills are kind of coming up there. I'm getting a little bit more savvy here with the burn tool. And I'm pretty proud of that. I, I really like that, you know, once I get a tool and once I get going, once you teach me something, it takes some time. But once I'm on the flow, that's my right hand. So that weller right there, that little $30 weller be burning shit up. Excuse my language, but it'll be burning it up and it gets the job done the way I need it to get done. So right now, I'm just working on the tail of the Scorpio and working on all the, the deepest parts and it's black. It's black, so I'm like, whoa, how do I just, do I just burn the whole thing and just light the whole shit on fire? It's like, no, you have to be very intricate with it and do burn at a time, corner at a time, corner at a time. And shout out to Weller, shout out to Koto, okay, for blowing the smoke out my face so that I can breathe another day, all right? And also for GBS, for creating this awesome mask for me. I probably need to change the filter by now because um, a bunch of smoke is going through that sucker. But you do kind of need both if you're gonna do this indoors. And it's getting a little cold where I am, so I don't be feeling like going outside. Plus, like, I don't want people up in my business, and I like walking around in my pajamas and stuff. And I didn't really want people up in my business while I was doing my artwork. So that's why I was like, I have to figure out a way to be able to do this inside. So you can, if you just open a door, and if you don't have money like that to get the koto, which the koto wasn't that expensive, but still, if you ain't got it like that, 
to get the Koto, you get you a good little, little fan or take whatever fan you got in the house and just put it by your burning tool so it blows away from your face. Because that sucker will like singe and open a door, open a window. Because I had a bunch of, man, I was smoked out in my apartment. Happy though, because I'm like going in, you know, just like this. My face is all deep. And I look up, I said, oh shoot, the smoke alarm didn't go off, which was really cool. So that's one great thing about this tool. It doesn't set off your smoke alarm or nothing like that, even if you forget to put up the Koto, you know. And also this tool I'm using, now I got professional. This tool is by True Art. I stick with True Art. I just wanted the best of the best. I, I'm getting to an age in my life where I just, cheap is just never the way to go. You always regret cheap and you usually end up spending double when you go cheap. So that was the thing, and I was happy with the Weller because Weller is considered, that Weller tool earlier I was using, it's considered the cheap tool, but because it's such a great tool, I can I still use it. I still need you, Weller. I still need you. True Art doesn't make thick tips like Weller does. Hint, 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 True, true Art, if, you, if you're watching, because I'm going to tag the hell out of y'all on the internet, and, and hopefully you guys can see this, that I'm, I'm shouting you out. I would love some sponsors here. I always, you know, I'm, I'm team sponsor, okay? So with this Weller tool, I mean, sorry, with this True Art tool, now I'm able to go and get to, to some more details here. And this was able to get black. I had this up really, really high. So this black, black that you see that I normally get with Weller, I was able to get with the True Art because I, I think this was like at 80. But, but just keep in mind, the higher up you go on the heat, the more flames that start coming. So I think it's interesting you don't see flames yet, but them flames, whoosh, 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 and you can hear it. Man, I know my grandmother would be scared watching me do this, but I love it. I absolutely love it, and I love this smell, and I can't wait till I'm done editing these damn videos so I can get back to doing more art. But I just did a bunch of them at one time. I think I'm just going to do one at a time because I just like to continue to keep doing it every day. I think this piece took me about eight hours to do. And also, I put it, 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 it kind of cools the heat if you put the box close. But I wanted to put the box close because the heat was up high. And that smoke was coming in my face. That smoke was no joke. So I had it up really close to me as I'm doing these burns so that it could really suck in a lot of the smoke. And my house didn't smell like smoke. And I also had the... Um, what you gonna call it? What's that thing you put on in the bathroom after you do number two? I forget the the uh, air filter or something like that. But I turned the thing on. I turned that on, and I was able to have my house constantly filtering out all this smoke, wood burning smoke. But I just always be burning stuff. I do. I love incense. I love resins. I just love burning things and fire. Ooh, don't put a fire in front of me. My house, my next house, I have to have a fire pit so that I can just burn, let it burn like jasmine something. So, you know, this is me, now I'm going into the claws and there's no real texture. There's no real texture on a scorpion because it doesn't have fur. So I didn't have to whisk anything. It was just me really making these blacks black. And the blackest black I can do, you know? And, and just going deep on the arms and trying my best to create these gradients. The further apart you space uh, dots, the lighter the gradient. The closer you get to the dots, when you're making little dots or something, the closer is the, the more uh, dense a space is. So if you notice when I'm doing the arm, I kept the dots further apart to show like that part is where the light is coming from. And the same thing with the back. So the pieces where you see lighter dots, more sparse dots, thinner dots. I'm trying to show the value of light coming and hitting on that spot. So this wasn't easy. I'm a painter first. I really am a drawer first. And, and you know, then painter. This is brand new. I just started doing pyrography a couple months ago. I, my whole decades of doing art, I did one decade. I ain't hit 40 yet. But, but one decade for sure of just of me being an artist. I, that is my number one talent. I, I guess I do all those other things I mentioned, but this right here, this is the heart and soul of me as an artist. I'm also an actress. You see some of my stuff on HBO, and Netflix, and all that great stuff. But at the end of the day, man, I don't care who, I don't care if you know who the hell I am or not. 
I just want to be in a position where I'm always able to just keep doing my artwork because I know that that is the creator working through me, showing the light, okay, showing that there is a, a higher power and something that is creating this amazing, amazing piece working through me, you know, but, but that's a debate for a lot of people. Is it working through you or is it you? Whatever. I give, you know, I give credit to the things unknown that I don't see because um, this is something I've been doing since I was a child and everything comes so easy. Thankfully, I'm so thankful and I'm not a cocky artist. I'm a very confident artist because I've been doing it for so long and I just know that it just, no matter what, it's, it's such a great feeling to pick up something you know you can't fail. You can't fail. Never could fail with it. And this piece is for sale. I'm not just doing this for likes and clicks to show off or to get clout. I'm doing this to get this in your home. We gotta get these gifts out in the world. So if you love scorpions and you're, or you're a hunter or you're just someone that just loves animals and loves exotic different creatures from all over the world, you can appreciate that. You can go to my website and you can purchase this scorpion for yourself. And I think you absolutely should. It's one of the, the scorpions, the, the depths. This is true depths of life, Scorpio. I always love that story about the scorpion and the frog. How, you know, the Scorpio. So what was this? This was on Pulp Fiction. I can't remember what movie this story about the scorpion and the frog, but it's so true. And it even correlates to the astrological sign Scorpio. You know, the, the scorpion and the frog, the scorpion is like drowning. And Scorpion is like, oh, please help me. And a little frog comes and it's like, oh, you need help, Scorpion. And so the frog comes and helps the Scorpion. And the Scorpion, you know, is riding on the frog. And then all of a sudden this frog's like, ouch, you stung me. And Scorpion's like, oh my God, we're going to both die. Shit, I'm sorry. It's in my nature. I couldn't help it. And it's true. Scorpions will sting. It's in their nature. All right, so this is for my Scorpio lovers. Okay, it is for sale. If you want to buy the original, it's for $198, and it's on my website right here, and I will ship it straight to your house, write you a love letter, whatever you want to do. And if you don't want to buy the original, you can also get a print of it, and you can keep that print of this in your house until you're able to buy original. And if you ain't got no house, you can get a cup. If you live in your car, I ain't hating on nobody, especially my LA folks. If you're living in your car, you can get a mug. It also has got pillows. These I have necessary things that you need as well that has my artwork on it. So it's a beautiful thing as well. So, and if you wanna learn about astrology, I, I, I have an astrology page. You can learn about that too. But thank you so much for joining me and take care.